Hey guys, welcome back. So, getting kind of a late start today. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, this time of the year, you just don't know what time you're gonna see deer. Uh, the days are shorter, and if you have the opportunity to be out, you need to be out because it's coming up to the end of the season. Today is December 17th. We don't have much longer left, so I'm kind of taking whatever I can get. But as you see, I'm using something a little bit different. This is the Remington 870 Wingmaster shotgun. This is a 12 gauge smoothbore shotgun. Uh, I've used this in a couple of different videos. Um, it's always been a good shotgun. I really like this one. And the slugs that I'm using are these. This is the Federal 2 and 3 quarter inch rifled slug. Yeah, that's a that's a chunk of lead right there. Um, so I'm hoping hoping to see something out here. Okay guys, I'm out hunting. And I happened upon this. Now, this is a little oak tree. As you see, all the bark's been peeled off of there. It's actually been rubbed off. Now, that's called a rub. Now, bucks will do that during the rut. And also during the pre-rut, too, whenever they're rubbing the uh, velvet off of their antlers. As you see down here, all these leaves have been kind of pawed away from the ground around this tree. Now, what this buck did... He went up to the tree, he rubbed his antlers up and down there. You see, he broke this branch, he broke that one, and just shredded the bark on that. And then, he pawed up the ground to make what's called a scrape. And what they do there is uh, they basically paw up the ground and then take a leak in it. <laughs> and they rub their antlers and their, their head, their forehead, up against stuff like this, and they lick it, and it breaks these branches off. And that gets their scent on these branches here, and they have their scent down here. So it's just something to look for. And if you look really close, usually these happen in a row, if we come over here, you see he's hit this one too. See that's broke off. And it's all scratched up. The limb's broken. He didn't hit this one as hard. But he was probably all worked up and everything. Came over here and whooped up on this tree too. If we look right here, this is an older one. You see, the antlers started right here, at this break, raked all the way down, and it also got right in here, in this part of the tree too, and broke off a lot of these branches up top. So if we were to continue following this line, there would probably be even more rubs on trees. That's just something to look for, a rub line, that's what it's called. That's a pretty good thing to know that the buck is marking his territory here. Unfortunately, I don't have a buck tag, so he'll be that much bigger next year. <laughs> All right. This is probably a hundred yards away from that last rub. You got this tree too. It looks like a little bit on the tree next to it. This is the kind of sign that you look for whenever you're picking a hunting spot. <laughs> At least if you're hunting for bucks. So.
The buzzards are circling me. Think maybe I need to take a shower? That's a lot of buzzards. All right, guys, we got one. This is uh, not the biggest deer I've ever gotten by far, but I bet she's gonna taste really good. <laughs> this is actually the first deer I've gotten with this uh, Remington Wingmaster shotgun, so it just goes to show you, you don't need a big high-powered rifle to get deer. You don't need the biggest, baddest scope. All you need is a good solid gun and a little bit of practice. So it's starting to warm up now in the afternoon. I gotta get this deer cleaned out and get it to the processor. So I appreciate your views and your subscriptions. Thumbs up, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got back from the processor and decided to try to hunt a little bit more. Uh, it's always a good idea. If you saw a deer earlier today, go ahead and hunt that afternoon uh, because chances are you're going to see deer later that day too. Now it didn't work out today. I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> but I'm happy I got that deer uh, because I've been hunting hard out here almost every day and I haven't seen a deer since before Thanksgiving in this area. So that's probably going to be the last one that I get this year. Um, and that's, that's not bad. We got five deer this year. So we pretty much accomplished everything that I, I set out to do. Um, I wanted to get a deer with a recurve and hey, bonus, I got two deer with a recurve. <laughs> and one was a trophy by golly. It was a, a nine point buck. Hey, that, that's the biggest deer I've gotten with a bow by far. You know? So that, that was great. Then I wanted to get a, a deer with a traditional muzzle loader, and I did. I got that button head uh, with my uh, cap lock rifle, and uh, then I wanted to get a deer with my AR-15. That happened, and bonus, I got a coyote too. <laughs> um, and now here it is. It's you know the end of gun season, and I wanted to get a deer with uh, a shotgun. Because a lot of my subscribers live in areas where you can't hunt with a uh, with a centerfire rifle, they have to use a shotgun. And it's been probably I don't know, 12 years or so since I've taken a deer with a shotgun. So it's it's time to do it again. Um, I don't think I showed you guys, but the actual ammo that I'm using. Uh, here. I thought I had some extra in my pocket, but I don't. But I do have some in my pack. So, this is what I'm using. The Federal Power Shock. That's right. It is a two and three quarter inch, one ounce rifled slug. There you go. There's the uh, slug. And, uh... Not a very big round, but very effective, obviously. <laughs> uh, I used to hunt with a shotgun more, but it's just something that's kind of gone by the wayside for me. So it's nice to get back into it. Now there's something else that I've done, um, and that is that I quit smoking recently, like within the last four days. So I've been going stir crazy. Now a lot of you guys I know are thinking, I didn't know you smoked. <laughs> That's because I've kept it out of my videos. I didn't want to be a bad influence to anybody. But, uh, yeah, I'm quitting. So, I haven't had a cigarette in uh, four days now. I've been using this uh, this gum. This really nasty, nasty gum. It, it's uh, cool mint flavored. So you think it would taste like wintergreen or something, but it, it doesn't. It tastes like trident and Copenhagen. <laughs> so it's a really nasty mix of uh, flavors, but it is helping. So I've got some other videos planned. Look for more videos coming up within the next, oh, three or four weeks. Um, 
I think you guys are going to be really happy with some of the new content that I'm planning on coming out with. So, anyways, guys, that is my time for today. I think we've had a pretty successful day and a pretty successful deer season. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Hey, it's free. <laughs> and it always will be as long as I have anything to say about it. So, uh, till next time, thumbs up.